Hello. So this was going to be a little prelude to what's coming up next in episode 22, which is going to be based on gratitude. So get that out of the way. This is what I really want to talk about. And this is about my third take. So bear with me because I think that I've gotten it together in my head now, what I want to say and how I want to say it. Because I'm going to get passionate, so watch out. Be ready. Buckle up. Grab a glass of water and take a seat. <laughs> okay, so what's going on in the world, right? I don't usually talk about politics in this, this world here. I don't normally talk about religion or race or any of those things that are big trigger items uh, because, you know, I don't want to go there. I've got my views and um, as scholarly as I am about healthy lifestyle and philosophy, I'm also a, um, I like to research history and the origins of a people and cultures and the rise and fall of civilizations and, and you know, governments and monarchies and all of that. So what does that bring us to? Well, it brings us to now and what's going on in the world. And it makes me think about how the heck we got here and what are the common threads throughout history that lead us back to doing things, which really is like insanity, right? Doing the same thing, expecting a different result. That is insanity. And what is happening right now seems to me as insanity, although there are absolute reasons and like, you know, telltale signs like, oh, this was bomb. This bomb is going to explode. This is a ticky time bomb. It doesn't surprise me that it happened, but horrific that it has once again. And think things are happening at a much grander scale now because there's more people on the planet. There's more organized government. There are mass, weapons of mass destruction and even smaller destruction. And the human race is just um, fumbling towards uh, absolute destruction. I don't want to be fatalistic. I'm just saying that Yes, we do need to take care of this beautiful planet that we're on that has provided us with a perfect environment to like grow food and eat it and thrive. Uh, but human beings, like for as clever as we all are, right, can send shock rocket ships out into the sky to go and visit other planets to see that we can't live there, but we've got it pretty darn good here. And yet... Let's spend all of that energy to do that, but not take the time to say, hey, wait a minute, what's going on inside of me? Because to me, that stuff is wonderful. Yay for science, love it. However, pretty darn miraculous that we're in these bodies, that we got a chance to be born, that we're living here now, that things are moving at a, the speed of a locomotive, and yet human beings, not all of them, but and yet human beings are not slowing down enough to say, oh, wait a minute, do I really wanna get involved in this kind of vitriol? Am I contributing to the solution or am I just putting gasoline on a freaking house that's already on fire? I've talked about this a lot throughout the episodes throughout this year, self-study, taking personal responsibility, taking care of ourselves, on the very basic fundamental levels. Caring about what we think, caring about what we say, caring about what we do with our bodies, caring about how we interact with one another. Kindness, truthfulness, non-coveting. These are all basic tenets, right? That hopefully we're all learning. I come from a very interesting background, racially, ethnically, um, and also religiously, I've decided that I don't need to be part of one group. I want to be a world citizen. I embrace cultures from all over the world. I like to see the best that each culture has to offer from its music, to its food, to its art, to its clothing, 
to its expression, to its beauty. Every culture has something. And I'm attracted to more than others, you know, some more than others. And that's all of us. And we're allowed to use our free will that way. But how are we using free will? Right? Is it is it contributing or is it making it worse? Contributing to the better of a situation because I do believe that humanity has it within them as a whole humanity each human being has it within themselves intrinsically to be amazing like incredible bright and shining lights and beacons of hope and beauty and honor and nobility I believe in that I don't know why sometimes I don't know why I still have this faith in humanity, but I do. Because I know that you can use your free will to make a decision on how you're going to be in this world. And it starts with the simplest of things. Yes, it's wonderful to have wonderful science and all this technology. That's great. How you use it is another thing. And how you use your own particular chance at this one incredible life, because it's a miracle that we're born how we choose to use this life and how we choose to interact in the world is up to each individual. I mean, it's hard to look at organizations such as governments and watch people within that same government warring with one another when they're supposed to be thinking about the greater good of the people that they're supposed to serve, right? Are those people taking constant personal inventory on what they're doing? Are they connected to their conscience? Do they care about working together or just about getting their own way? We see what's been happening throughout history. This, what's happening right now is not new. This is just a culmination of horrific decisions and ego and greed and power hungry nonsense and vitriol. But organizations or countries or leading parties or whatever, the monarchy, going to other places that they didn't even live in and saying, we're going to take that. And as a matter of fact, you know what? This is now ours. That's been going on for a long time, right? There are some cultures in the very distant past that were better at maintaining peace. And then, of course, some other party came in and put their nose and said, oh, we landed here, this is ours. You people, you're savages, get the hell out of here. That's happened before, like many times. Yeah, there are huge corporations still mining away in countries that they're not from, taking these people resources, taking that land's resources and coveting them for their own. Like, think about it, people. Think about it. It's happening all the time. It's been happening. And whose decision is that? Well, you could say, oh, well, those are the big corporations. No, 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 no. It's also your personal choice. You have a choice. You have a choice to decide whether or not you want to side with something that is not true and is not right and is not kind, unkind that is divisive, that will not serve the greater good for the whole. Each individual has that choice. You can choose. And yes, it's important to hold people that are in power accountable, but more importantly, it's in, you need to exercise that kind of power from within yourself. That's where your true power comes from. And if each individual were taking that kind of personal responsibility, for their thoughts and their words and their actions and how they interact with their family and why they get together in certain groups or not good groups or who's a better, you know, what's a better religion and who are their chosen people and what's a better yoga teacher and what's a better meditation. Stop the noise. Do your work. Because those basic tenets run through every culture and through most philosophies that are focused on the betterment of a human being and living a happier and better life. If you read or research any of these things, you will see throughout time 
There are groups of people that are more high-minded. Do they have everything perfect? No, because a lot of them have slaves, but that's another story. However, throughout time, we have them, and there are the rise and fall of civilizations and all of these things, and yet, why is it that we can't get it straight? Like, it's been thousands of years now. What's up with that? Why? Like, yes, we're gonna die, but how are we living? Seriously, how are you living? What are you choosing? Is it hurting other people? How do we wanna live and how do we wanna die? I'm not interested in dying because there's mass destruction and chaos because human beings have decided, I'm gonna push that button. That's not how I wanna go. Is that how you wanna go? I don't think so. I think that intrinsically human beings want peace. It's just that systems and cycles that repeat themselves in families and then in cultures and then in societies and then in civilizations, it does repeat itself. And things happening again and again and again in the same way, that is madness. That is insanity. So then what's gonna happen? This planet will be fine without us. The animals don't need us. We can either choose to destroy ourselves or we can choose to lift ourselves up and in that process, lift up the one people around us. Let's empower each other. Are we gonna be best friends with everybody? No, because that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it would be lovely. It would be lovely to have that kind of harmony. But at, at the very least and at the and at, and at our best, we can appreciate the differences amongst us and say, you know what? You got a different point of view and that's cool. And that's the path that you choose to take. But you know what? That's making you a better person. Right on. You want to call the divine a particular name because that's what suits you and the culture that you came from. And because things developed and came out in a different way than they did 200, 300 years before in another place on the planet. That's cool. But I respect you, I respect myself, and I respect you as a fellow human being. And I wanna behave differently. And I wanna treat you differently because I treat myself differently. And we hold ourselves accountable and we hold other people accountable. And we live in a world where there is more transparency and honesty and, 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 and kindness with that dose of honesty. I mean, these are basic things. And, and it's later than we think, like there's no time. You can, yes, you can use your free will, but really we don't have a choice. Like what's the alternative? This is it, how we doing? We can do better. We can all do better, like so much better. And I have faith. I have faith that we're gonna do better. I'm gonna keep the faith. How about you? Okay, well, episode 22 is coming. <laughs> and I hope that you have a great weekend.